government of Ghana stands out for the opening of the gate for African descents whose ancestors were brutally shipped to the West. The 10-year campaign docked the year of return aimed at encouraging tourism has created a tradition of homecoming for both national visitors and the returning of Africans. The year of return was declared by the Ghanaian president in 2019 in acknowledgement of the 400-year anniversary of the first enslaved or enslaved Africans arriving in Jamestown. Details of that in this report. Born in America, Robert Bott now calls Ghana home. He retired from the U.S. Marine and moved to Ghana to set up the security company five years ago. He has created jobs for 450 people. I noticed that there was an overall lack of training and the attitude and the professionalism was missing. So with my background, I thought that I can infuse more professionalism and just an, an attitude of being better. More than 3 million Ghanaians live in the USA, the Caribbean and Europe. The government wants to attract those living in the diaspora and people of African descent, like BOT, to support Ghana's economic growth. There's opportunity in agricultural production, there's an opportunity in agro-processing, even infrastructure. We've had quite a number of significant, uh, significant people in the diaspora come and say, okay, uh, maybe we don't have the money to build the infrastructure, but we can add our brains and skills to ensuring that Ghana gets value for money. Um, we have a mechanism where uh, we're also getting um, many of them um, to join us in government in policy formulation and all that. Last year, the government launched a 10-year plan aimed at engaging Africans in the diaspora to invest in Ghana. Part of the campaign is to raise $3 billion through loans and remittances to support the economy. The government also wants people in the diaspora to come to Ghana to set up businesses and has established a diaspora investment desk to oversee this. Still, Bot says more needs to be done. The message that's being presented to globally about Ghana is come back to Ghana and you can get citizenship. And, but when they get here, that path or that easy transition is not there. In 2019, Ghana granted citizenship to more than 100 African Americans and Afro-Caribbeans as part of its year of return campaign. The government says it wants to also reform regulations to improve the ease of doing business. Ghana is already receiving huge remittances from people living abroad as it looks to attract diaspora investments. Last year, the World Bank estimated that the country's remittances shot up by 5% to $3.6 billion despite the economic disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Analysts want the government to now find ways of making it easy for people in the diaspora to open their own bank accounts in Ghana. They say this could boost foreign exchange inflows. It's a broader conversation that should happen, that the government focus is to see how these financial service players, in fact, the people in the private sector, can be able to attract more savings or investment from people in the diaspora. And I think technology will be at the center of it. Look good, smell good, know your job. When I first Having found a stable place in Ghana for his business, Robert Bott wants people in the diaspora to consider the West African country as a destination for trade and investments. <laughs>